Hello everybody, I am Just Lance and I would like to welcome you all back for another video. Anyways, so what are we doing today? Well, today we're going to go ahead. I've been using that Senator of, as of late. Um, really digging on it, but I thought tonight I want to go ahead. I just want a nice, simple, single edge shave. And I want it to be kind of quick, so I use my quickest single edge as far as length of time to shave, and that is this one. This is my Colonial Razors, the General. Um, it uses the Feather Artist Club blades. The blade is a Feather um, Artist Club Pro, and it's on maybe it's third, fourth shave. Um, still going strong, and as you can see, quite a wide head. Um, just a great, great razor if you want to take off whiskers really quick and talk about one smooth razor. Um, the brush is going to be my, let me find it, Razor Rock 24 millimeter plus soft in the barber style handle, solid acrylic. Um, love that brush, absolutely love it. Um, the soap is going to be from, oops, hang on guys, where did I put it, where the hell did I put it? Kind of here, so, ah, here it is. Anyways, the soap is going to be the shaving guys, the um, well-groomed guys soap. Um, you can get this on Amazon. <sighs> Kind of a sandalwoody scent. Relatively soft soap. I mean, you can push your finger in. It makes a nice dent. Um, kind of a small container, small tub. So I always lather it up in a bowl. The bowl is going to be my timeless blue lather bowl. Anyways, to save time, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to cut away here and load, uh, put some soap in the bowl and go ahead and make a nice lather. See you in a minute. Anyway, so I figured I'd start lathering up. I'm going to go ahead and start doing a few things different on the videos to try and trim off a little, little bit of the fat, so to speak. Um, so, this soap, as you lather it, the scent really comes up nicely. It's kind of reminiscent a little bit of the Aqua de Parma Colonial. At least, well, hang on guys. At least I should say the kind of reminiscent of the Piacenza in the Triple X. So, um, I've never used Aqua de Parma. I'm not paying 75 bucks for a tub of cream. Um, the highest I'll go is... In the 30... To $40 range. And the only one I can tell you that I know of at this time that uh, would meet that price point is the um, Castle Forbes. Um, I've only used their lavender. Uh oh, hang on guys. Okay, good, 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 good. The handle was loose on my general. Um, but uh, with the grain. Mmm, nice. The uh, lavender is a beautiful, beautiful cream, um, beautiful scent. When I first got it, it was piffed to me, and um, back when I first, back in 2015, way before I started my channel, and um, absolutely loved the scent. That's why I fell in love with lavender. So I gotta get some lavender soaps. So. Not your mother's lavender, but K-Shave works. Uh, I want to 
want to get a tub of that. Uses a sample, love it. Um, lavender plant from PAA, wonderful. So, as you can see, this has taken down the whiskers real well. Um, see that C Kiefer is getting back into his routine. Really great. Happy to see that. Um, this channel's up for review as far as monetization, as far as I know. Um, he just reached a thousand subscribers, so congratulations to him. All right, pass one done. Um, so yeah, up up for monetization, being reviewed, thousand subscribers, really good for Carl. Um, <laughs> Paul H just hit, I think, twelve thousand subscribers. He had to get away. Ken Surfs just hit ten thousand. He's got. A giveaway going right now so if you're a subscriber go check them out or go go check out that video if you haven't seen it the raffle I spoke of last week on my last day has now closed the raffle did well I guess um, money went into a Russell Barton's account or went into an account for Russell so um, it was rather nice being part of that and helping them out. Got the Ever Ready shovel head, 24 shovel head, cross the grain, off in the mail to him, the winner, I forget his name, it's, I don't want to screw up his name, it's, it's, to, Gia? Te, te, it's a... Te, 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 anyways, it's Asian or Oriental. I'm not sure. Um, but... Got that off to him. Got the tracking info to him. So... Very, threw in some blades, uh, five pack of Pella Blue Blades, because me and Pella, we just don't get along. So, we're in a pack of, five pack of those. Um, and, uh, Jim Blue Star, and a Jim PTFE Stainless. So, sanitized it, the razor, best I could. I don't have barber saw. So, it was cleaned in warm, soapy water and soaked in 70% isopropyl alcohol. So, Another pass done. Ain't done my edits yet, of course, but I just checked my time and it's at a little over 13 minutes. So, happy with that. Anyways, um, Justin, the Red Island Shaver, is wanting to do kind of an outdoors channel from the perspective of a blind guy, or a visually impaired guy, uh, looking forward to when that channel hits, because I love fishing, um, see see what the fishing up there in Canada is like, um, Johan of Shave and Butcher is got a channel, if you know anybody with Parkinson's, and they just want to watch a channel about 
was that has somebody that's dealing with Parkinson's that actually has a really really wonderful outlook on life um, check out his channel it's keeping up with the Parkinson's um, I was his sixth subscriber so it's still a small channel so you know so good luck to you Johan on your channel and please in the comments let me know if I got your name right um, if I got your name right there Shaven Butcher if it is Johan because I don't want to call you Johan if it's not so um, figured out, figured out, solved the problems with commenting and replying to comments. Got that figured out last week, or after the last video. I'm rather proud of myself. <laughs> I was at 79 subscribers, now I'm down to, back down to 78. So, I lost someone, man. So, and I'm thinking about... Starting a second channel of my own. Um, it's something I toyed with quite a bit as far as an ideal goes for quite some time. Um, but my love of wet shaving kind of was like, I'll try out that channel first. So, and, um, I figure since this channel is called Just Lance, I think I'll call the other one once I figure it all out. I think I'll call it Just Blind. Um, even though know, I have a tiny bit of vision, don't got a lot. So, but in that, I could talk about. Being a blind person, leaving home for the first time, you know, as a young adult, um, I've done that. Um, pitfalls, the pitfalls of being a blind person with roommates. So. Um, grooming things. Things as far as, I don't know, ironing maybe. Somebody who's sighted might think, well, that all sounds like pretty easy stuff. I mean, I've known blind people, late teens, early 20s, who didn't even know how to tie their own damn shoes because their parents and family sheltered them so much that they went ahead and they would do it for them. So, anyways... Um, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to cut away, do my thing, and I'll be back for the post. Hey guys, that was an absolutely <laughs> beautiful, beautiful shave. Cheeks, lip, upper lip, chin, bottom lip, my neck. Every way, ranges from damn fine shave to baby butt smooth. Mostly baby butt smooth. My head. Yeah, it was disposable, but great shave, great shave on my head. Um, you know, razor was just one of these little simple disposable Gillette Mach Three knockoffs. Might have been, ah, uh, well, I'm not sure who made the made the razor, but it's kind of like a Mach Three. Anyways, so first things first, get the witch hazel out. Um, the uh. So, absolutely outstanding performer. Um, I can't remember what my friend Christian paid for it there on Amazon, but it wasn't like major, I think maybe 10 bucks he said. So, um, kind of a small tub, but it's four ounces, probably real dense soap. Um, it's kind of like, it's kind of like, I don't know. Has almost a putty consistency. Sorry, guys, had an itch. Has almost a putty consistency in the in the tub. So, but yeah, it's a great, great soap. Lathers up really quick too. 
Nivea for sensitive skin after shave balm. But uh, I think I might start doing the videos the way I've done this one. Trimming out some of the fat, so to speak, for you guys. That way, you know, I appreciate y'all hanging with me to the end. But I know not a lot of guys are gonna gonna hang until the very end. New new people that might be interested. So, you know, so we're gonna try it that way for a while. See how it works. So, used a little bit too much. But can rub it on my arms. Get my elbows nice and moisturized, <laughs> so to speak. Um, the blade. Great, great blade. Ars Club blades. It's kind of a middle of the road um, as far as the different Ars Club blades you can use. Um, you need to get more, a little bit more of a variety of the blades. So, Kai makes some really good Ars Club blades. Um, and Feather has quite a few more than just the Pro. The aftershave is my vintage Avon. Um, it's in this kind of this big rig, so. And the scent is very reminiscent, or almost dead ringer for Panay Clubman. So. Um, I don't know how old it is. It's from at least the 80s. And, um, you know, it was pretty full, so it didn't turn funky or anything like that. Like some vintage aftershaves can, or vintage colognes can. So, but anyways, yeah, so, yeah, I'll go ahead and, hang on guys. I'll let you guys all know when I get closer to launching the new channel. And, um, that way, so who knows, maybe you might know somebody who's got a blind child that's getting ready to make their way into the world on their own, or somebody who's losing vision or whatever. So, you know, figure this would be a good platform here on YouTube to give back to the blind community. Uh, or to give to the blind community and give some aid. Anyways, so that's it. I'm done. I'm out of here. If y'all liked what you saw, um, I'm glad I glad I kept y'all interested. And um, you know, if you ever need to reach me, just lance59 at gmail.com, all lower space or all lowercase, no spaces. Anyways, y'all take it easy. And oh, by the way, happy belated St. Patrick's Day. Um, we're going to have our corned beef and cabbage tomorrow. So anyhow, um, I'll see all of you on the flip side of the blade. Bye-bye now.